Hi everyone! Welcome to our channel. On our last video, I introduced some cleansing method that can improve our skin dramatically and walk you through different types of cleansers and some common cleansing myths. In this video, I'm going to introduce some specific cleansing tips based on each skin type. And first, I will start with dry skin types. So I have very dry skin and as we age, our skin gets drier and drier and the drier our skin gets, the faster is the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So while using some cream and serum to moisturize our skin is very important, it's also equally important to use the right cleansing habits and using the right product to keep our skin hydrated. So I will walk you through some proper um, cleansing tips to keep your skin barrier healthy and keep your skin moisturized and hydrated, especially if you have dry skin. In the morning, the good news is you don't really have to use cleansing product if you have super dry skin. You can simply just wash with water every morning. However, if you feel like you need to use a cleanser because you feel extra dull, um, you want to cleanse your pores, then make sure you use the cleansing product with low pH. You can use some mild foam cleanser with low pH level. This Beijing Aromatic Cleanser is a low pH. Emaf, the rice jelly cleanser, also a very mild foam cleanser um, that is suitable for dry skin. Or there's also enzyme powder wash, which turns into a foam. This is also suitable for dry and sensitive skin, which I'll walk you through later. And in the nighttime, if you are only wearing sunscreen or sunscreen plus some light makeup like BB cream, then double cleansing is not a must for dry skin. Um, so in that case, you can use a gentle cleansing lotion or cleansing milk. Like I introduced in my previous video, um, this is very gentle for all skin types, especially the dry and sensitive skin. So you can cleanse your skin with a mild cleansing lotion that can remove um, sunscreen and mild makeup like BB cream. And optionally, you can choose to double cleanse only when necessary uh, using a mild uh, cleanser with low pH level. So you can first cleanse your um, sunscreen and BB cream with the cleansing milk, followed by a mild foam cleanser only when necessary. And when you're wearing heavy makeup during the day, even for dry skin, I would strongly recommend um, double cleanse. So first, you can remove your makeup using the oil-based cleanser like oil cleanser or some cleansing balm. And after removing and melting makeup with this, then you should double cleanse with the mild foam cleanser. And when it comes to choosing a cleanser for dry skin, make sure you use the cleanser with low pH levels, so mild foam cleanser and choose a cleanser with some hydrating ingredients such as beta-gluten or hyaluronic acid and whichever cleanser you use, what's especially important for dry skin type is after cleansing, if your skin feels squeaky clean or skin feels very tightened, then you should ditch the cleanser and make sure your skin feels a bit slimy um, after using the cleanser, especially for the dry skin. Next is oily skin type. In the morning, if you have oily skin, I would recommend using a mildly acrylic foam cleanser to remove the overnight sebum and dirt from your skin. So the mildly acrylic cleanser will be this Renew Dumb Elomis um, Foam Cleanser. So this type of cleanser have a stronger ability to reduce oil and remove the dirt compared to the um, other cleansers with low pH level. So this might be more suitable for dry, sensitive, or normal skin. And if you have uh, oily skin, then I would recommend to use a slightly acrylic cleanser um, to cleanse your oils and dirt more properly. And in the nighttime, probably should double cleanse if you have oily skin. So if you are wearing some light makeup or just sunscreen, then you can start with the cleansing milk to remove your sunscreen and then the light makeup. And then you should double cleanse with the foam cleanser that you use in the morning 
slightly alkali foam cleanser and then just double cleanse even when you're wearing just sunscreen or light makeup like BB cream. And if you're wearing some heavy makeup, you should first remove makeup with the oil-based cleansers and then double cleanse with the um, foam cleanser. And some people might ask, I already have an oily skin. Maybe I shouldn't use any oil-based cleanser because I already have an oily skin. The answer is no, because the only oil-based cleanser effectively removes some heavy makeup and then also it melts the blackhead. So if you're wearing any makeup, then you should probably use the oil-based cleanser even when you have oily skin to melt all the makeups and blackheads. However, make sure you follow with the foam cleanser to remove all the oil residue so that it prevents um, your pores from getting clogged from the oil. Next is combination skin and probably the most common skin types. Combination skin is a bit tricky because sometimes your skin feels dry, sometimes your skin feels a bit oily, or sometimes teeth will feel oily but rest is dry, so it is difficult. So in the morning, um, default is use a mild foam cleanser to remove the overnight sebum and dirt. However, when you skin feel extra sensitive or very dry, dehydrated, you can skip using the product and simply just use the water to wash your face. And in the nighttime, if you are wearing light makeup or just sunscreen, then you can use the cleansing milk or cleansing lotion. Or if you are wearing some heavy makeup, you should probably use oil-based cleanser like cleansing balm or oil cleanser. Should you double cleanse? The default is yes. So after you remove sunscreen or makeup with this to product, then follow uh, with the mildly acidic foam cleanser to cleanse the rest of the residues. However, after you do that, if your skin is feeling a bit tight, you can just use the foam cleanser on your um, T-zone or wherever your skin feels extra oily. Lastly, it's sensitive skin or temporarily very inflamed skin with redness or the skin with eczema. So when your skin feels extra, extra sensitive, highly likely um, your skin barrier is damaged or very weakened. And if you are experiencing any of these symptoms like inflammation, itchiness, or redness, um, you can follow this step carefully. For sensitive skin with weakened skin barriers, it's very important to focus on soothing and moisturizing your skin. So in the morning, it's better to skip using any cleansing product and simply just use water to wash your face and then just put on some serum or cream to soothe and hydrate your skin. In the nighttime, you still need to use cleansing product because hopefully and ideally uh, you are wearing sunscreen. So to remove sunscreen, you need to use a cleansing product. However, for sensitive skin, especially suffering from inflammation and redness, gentle product is required and I recommend to use enzyme powder wash product. So enzyme powder wash are like a powder foam type, but once it meets the water, it creates an effective foam to remove light makeup, sunscreen, impurities, and dirt and oil. You can just use it as a single cleanser without double cleanse. This is good for a very sensitive skin, especially suffering from like acne or inflammation, rosacea or um, eczema. And while this cleanser removes light makeup and sunscreen, during the period when your skin feels extra sensitive and you know, inflamed, it's better not to use any heavy makeup because double cleansing or using a strong makeup remover can even further irritate your skin. So it's better to keep it simple, just use a sunscreen or slightly maybe tinted sunscreen and then use a single mild cleanser to remove um, everything and keep focusing on moisturizing your skin. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And if you want me to cover a different topic in Korean skincare or wellness, please comment below. Um, thank you and hope to see you next time.